for Singapore, our economic future has to be premised on us building up our capacity to create new businesses, uh, new products, new services, uh, and more broadly become an innovation-led economy. Uh, to achieve that, uh, R&D will be a critical pillar. Investing in research and innovation will enable Singapore to transcend all our fiscal limitations, our lack of natural resource, and indeed fully leverage on our very, very capable and talented uh, people to make ourselves relevant and useful in order for the world to want to pay attention to us. I think, you know, the, the question has to be not why R&D, but what will be the alternative if we are not doing R&D, if we're not undertaking knowledge-based enterprises, if we don't have the talent with the right skills and expertise, we're not going to be able to shape the world of, of commerce and economic activity. So that's why you, you need R&D. The reason why I decided to set up NSTB as 1989, of course, as chairman of NSTB, PDB, my concern we cannot continue with a high cost uh, city state just focusing on production. We must have intellectual property. That we must invest in research and development. We cannot just leave it to production. Helping to create jobs, helping to meet the aspiration of the younger generation, that's really one of the most important areas. And I think we then knew that we cannot continue to just do manufacturing. We have to move up the ladder. In the early years, a lot of our efforts were directed at the building capability, uh, whether in the form of bringing in talent, uh, grooming young uh, researchers or building the necessary infrastructure. Then there was a time when we shifted gears towards translational research. In that phase, the economic focus of A-Star work uh, became more pronounced. Uh, going forward, we will be doing a lot more uh, in terms of supporting national challenges uh, such as uh, climate change or pandemic uh, uh, readiness and, and uh, resilience. I think everything we do in ASTAR, we try our best to impact the economy, uh, impact uh, society, to see what we can do to impact health, uh, to lift up the science and tech capabilities in public uh, agencies, and really to help our companies go from good to great. When I speak to uh, CEOs of companies and I ask them why are they basing their activities in Singapore, the answer often involves ASTAR and the critical role that it plays in terms of matching uh, the company's R&D needs uh, with researchers who can help them uh, address their R&D uh, challenges. We all believe that science and the pursuit of new products, new services actually leads to better lives for everyone globally. I think that's the role that ASTAR uh, has been playing and should continue to play. Every time I hear some of these uh, research programs that we are embarking on and the kind of potential it has, I actually always think, wow, you know, actually if this succeeds, actually we can truly change the world. It's not just all down to science and tech. We work in tandem with many operational agencies, with the private sector, with academia. ASTAR, over the many years, has built up you know, uh, an immense uh, expertise and strength in many different areas. As we look to new opportunities, uh, there are many areas where ASTAR can take the lead in bringing the community together. Through programs like GetUp and Accelerate, and many research institutes like SimTech, ARTC and IBN. A-star scientists and engineers have helped many SMEs strengthen their innovation capabilities and embark on their innovation journey. We work with A-star in several areas. Uh, first and foremost, the Singapore Food Story R&D program under the RIE 2020. What SFA really benefited uh, is some of this capability that A-star took quite a while to build up some years back. Uh, before uh, being deployed over to the food space. Uh. SPF Malta, which was jointly developed by HTX and ASTAR, it has been deployed since 2019 at major events. HTX is honoured to be a close working partner with ASTAR. Fundamentally, both agencies are aligned with similar missions to advance science and tech to build a better future for Singaporeans. 
NUHS and ASTAR have been strong partners for over two decades. So first, the Stronghold Diagnostic Labs. Uh, this is a high throughput, large-scale laboratory for COVID-19 RT-PCR testing. Second example I could give would be the Clinical Nutrition Research Center or CNRC. It's an academic center specializing in human nutrition research. I'd say ASTAR has uh, evolved uh, together with uh, what's needed in the local research uh, ecosystem and uh, shown its adaptability uh, to supply what's needed uh, in, in the national landscape. Probably our most successful partnership uh, is the Skin Research Institute of Singapore. Ten years ago, there were probably only a small number of groups uh, in Singapore doing research in skin. But because of the partnership with ASTAR, as well as with Lee Kong Chien Medicine, and uh, NTU, uh, we have now created probably one of the leading institutes globally in skin and dermatology research. We have many partnerships between SingHealth and ASTAR over the decades. The partnership with Genome Institute of Singapore, whereby we could use the discoveries at GIS towards moving clinical care by improving precision medicine and having better stratification and diagnosis of many different diseases. There are superb young scientific talents at ASTAR and it invigorates me whenever I work with young, bright scientists. One decade ago, when we started doing RNA and PCI in ASTAR, very few in the world was looking into that. If not for the 10 years of investment into looking at RNA technology and PCR, we will not be able to very quickly, within a month, actually, to work with ASTAR to mass produce Fortitude, which is also RNA PCR diagnostic test. So it was a decade of preparation that resulted in a fast response to COVID-19 last year. I led a group in ASTAR specializing on liquid biopsy. In 2016, uh, Lucens was spun out of that group. Today, we continue collaboration and multiple projects together with ASTAR to bring the best of Singapore to the world. What I see is ASTAR sits in between the academia and the industry side, and that's very important. You need that middle person in between to make sure that academic research goes out there and becomes commercializable. ASTAR plays a very important role in innovation as it helps our local business stay relevant by strengthening their capabilities to utilize technology and digitalization. Being able to prepare for the future is actually very important for enterprises to continue to make sure that Singapore remains competitive in the world, especially being disrupted by now the COVID-19. Since 2013, our collaboration with ASTAR and its research institute has enabled abrasive engineering to evolve and keep up with times. With ARTC help, we can put in more sensor so that we can have digitization and connectivity. Today, we are ready. Our machines are ready for Industry 4.0. With the state-of-the-art technologies, world-class infrastructure, and a skilled talent pool, ASTAR is the catalyst and value partner for many companies, including applied materials. We are proud that the innovations conceptualized, developed, and manufactured in Singapore have shaped the future of technologies and supported applied materials business globally. Our partnership goes back to 2004 when we first launched our PhD program with IHPC. Since then, we've contributed and partnered with many institutes of ASTAR. Partnering with a trusted capability like ASTAR allows us to achieve our solutions in a much more aggressive pace. In the opening of the ARTC, it has been a significantly memorable um, time for me in terms of uh, what we've been able to do in the facility, and that has been a great, great success for us. We engaged with uh, I squared R, the Infocom Research uh, Institute, uh, seven or eight years ago, and we set up a corporate lab uh, with them. And I firmly believe that the corporate lab is what helped us uh, understand the technology, understand how to apply it to uh, various business processes, and uh, make it our own. So I think ASTAR's role is really that, to uh, create a good bridge between fundamental research and then taking it out uh, into the private sector to apply some of this research. For me personally, one of the highlights has been deepening 
of the working relationship between ASTAR and ourselves. What we saw during COVID-19 was the willingness and the ability to use that science and that technology to come up with critical but mundane problems. The energy, the enthusiasm, and the confidence uh, that Fred brought along with the whole ASTAR community was inspiring and, and really quite infectious. It wasn't an issue of, can we do it? It was an issue of recognizing we had to do it. And so ASTAR will find a solution and find the solution they did. But the key role of ASTAR is always human talent. Training the scientists, training the people who will push the technology, whether in engineering sciences or medical science ahead. What's kept me uh, going uh, has been the passion with which people serve the organization with the intent that everything we do is for the benefit of Singapore, for the benefit of Singaporeans. And that's been a life force for, for many in ASTAR. In science technology, facing challenges is a constant simply because we are venturing into the unknowns. It's very important for us to have this mindset of constantly embracing change, looking out for new opportunities, solving problems that is relevant to Singapore. When uh, the best people in the world come together, then is when the best science happens. And this was the reason why I was attracted to ASTAR in Singapore in the first place. This is what I have seen uh, in ASTAR, what is the common cause that we are fighting for. It may be a virus, but it can also be the Singapore food story. And uh, having these common goals uh, brings us together. ASTAR is a place where we value talent, where we want to give the strongest possible support to nurture talent, where researchers can explore freely and ideas can flow and flourish. We have to start to not just cultivate strong bench talent, but commercialization talent to facilitate and help some of these scientists and researchers as they're thinking about how do they create their startup. Some of them decide to continue their career in ASTAR. Some of them would like to venture out to the ecosystem to work in the industry, to work in the university, to work in the public sector. We should get our people ready for these challenges as well. I hope that ASTAR can continue to that function and people in ASTAR, they feel that this is where they can do what they really want to do, what they're really good at. ASTAR is a great place to work. The one that introduced the science and technology world to me. A star that shines the brightest when shining for the benefit of the greater good. ASTAR is for me futuristic, horizon scanning. The home of explorers and the start of many adventures. Magical because we can make the impossible possible. ASTAR sets the benchmark for the world to follow. ASTAR fed my appetite for a career in research. ASTAR will always have a special place in my heart. ASTAR was actually uh, where I had my first experience with research. Those experiences really left uh, a deep impression on me and nurtured me a deeper interest in science and tech. I joined ASTAR because of uh, the science, but I stayed because of the bond that I have with the people around me. Personally, ASTAR has been a great employer. I've been with the organisation for 20 years. I can safely say that it is a very dynamic, forward-looking organisation. I have been with ASTAR for close to uh... 28 years now. I've been really fortunate to have been able to work with a great team and to be able to contribute to help Singapore. I grew up with ASTAR. I, I learned a lot. I feel incredibly honoured and, uh, and blessed to be able to do this. ASTAR is a place I start from a fresh, a PhD graduate. Uh, to a point right now, I'm having my own research group. This is an organisation uh, which give me opportunity to try, to fail, to achieve and also thrive. I really feel proud to be part of ASTAR's history. They are institutions that last for hundreds if not uh, over a thousand years. They are very enduring, mainly because um, society find them relevant uh, and they continue to deliver impact. So if you ask, you know, what will allow ASTAR to have longevity, uh, it has to be that uh, they continue to deliver on their mission deliver in a sustainable, productive way, then, you know, we are not just talking about 30 years, you know, you'll continue. 
My aspiration for A-Star is that we continue to, to grow uh, with Singapore. May I wish A-Star to move from strength to strength, but most of all, to collectively lead lives of consequence for all parts of the world. I see A-Star continuing to embrace open innovation uh, and enhancing our ability to move with speed and agility uh, in order to create impact. My aspirations for A-Star is to be the shining beacon for STEM. We shine in the darkness like a star and be reliably there behind the light. The key asset of A-Star is your human talent. And my hope is someday, one of them will become the future CEO of A-Star or even the chairman of A-Star. Made in Singapore, trained by us, founded by us. That's my ambition. On behalf of all of our colleagues, we would like to wish A-Star happy 30th anniversary. Congratulations to everyone in A-Star for contributing to Singapore's economic growth and success over the past 30 years. Well done. May you continue to be a star in the science and technology universe. As a young and rising star, continue to build up, continue to grow, and meet the challenges ahead. Happy birthday, A-Star! Changming Bai Sui! Happy 30th anniversary, A-Star, and Fu Fu Kaohsiung! Happy birthday, A-Star! I look forward to the future with you. So A-Star, you're 30. Don't get into media crisis. Enjoy the ride. Wish you all the best. A-Star, best wishes for a 30th anniversary. A-Star, we've done 30 years already. Wada! To the many who have contributed to building up A-Star to what it is today, I want to say thank you. You've done a great job. Happy 30th anniversary.